Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to forecast using exponential smoothing in Excel 2013. Now before I start, let's take a look at some data. Now these data are what we call time series data, where we have some measures over a period of time. So in column A, I've got 14 weeks of time, and in column B, I've got the actual demand of a product for each of those 14 weeks. And I'd like to be able to forecast demand for week 15 or any subsequent week after that. There's a few ways we can do it, use it weight and scoring and so on, but one of the best ways to, to make some forecasts is to use a technique called exponential smoothing. So over here on my right hand side I have the formula that you need to calculate uh, FT, which is the forecast for the current time period. So in my case here uh, I would be looking to, to forecast for a period 15. So FT is equal to um, alpha, which is a smoothing constant, uh, multiplied by the actual demand for T minus 1, which is the previous period, plus 1 minus my smoothing constant alpha, multiplied by the forecast demand for the previous period. So exponential smoothing forecast demand in the next period by taking into account the actual demand in the current period, that's A T minus 1, and the forecast which was previously made for the current period, that's F T minus 1. So we have the components of our formula here. Now over on the left hand side there's two pieces of information we need to know before we can start. First is, and I have it in cell um, B18 here, we need a value for alpha, the smoothing constant. Now what this means is that this gives a weight to the last and therefore assumed to be the most important piece of information available to you, the forecaster. So in my case here, I'm giving it a weight of 0 0.6. It's usually between 0 and 1 is the value for alpha, the smoothing constant here. And we want to be able to have a situation where previous data has diminishing effect on the next forecast. Or if you like, we're lending more weight to recent forecasts than older forecasts. So in order for me to, in my case here, um, calculate a forecast for week 15, I need to use my formula for exponential smoothing to um, forecast demand uh, for all periods before week 15. Now clearly I can't forecast demand for week 1, so we usually start out by uh, specifying what that might be, and in my case here, uh, in cell B19, I'm specifying that the initial forecast is 65. So my first forecast demand here, I'm just going to say equals the cell reference B19 for uh, the, my initial forecast. So I'm starting out here with a value of 65. Now I'm ready to use my formula, because if I look at my formula, the um, uh, forecast for time t, and that's in this case here for week 2, is equal to my smoothing constant multiplied by uh, the actual for t minus 1, that's the previous week, plus 1 minus the smoothing con uh, constant multiplied by the forecast for t minus 1, which is the previous week. So let me carefully type this into the cell here. So first of all, type in equals. And now I need to use brackets in this formula, so I've got an opening bracket. The first part is to use my alpha value, so that's in cell B18, so uh, click on that. Um, multiply that then by um, the previous uh, actual demand, T minus 1, so that's going to be B2, a value of 58 for the actual demand for the previous period. Closing bracket, then you can see I need to plus or add that to, and I need two brackets next um, for the uh, second part of the calculation, so 1 minus the alpha value, so again I'm going to click on cell B18, closing bracket, and multiply that then by FT minus 1, and that's going to be uh, the value for the previous forecast, which is 65, and press um, the closing bracket. Okay, And that's going to give me a forecasted demand in week 2 for 60.8 um, products. Now, before now, normally we could just uh, copy this formula down to get the forecast for the remaining weeks, but there's another thing I need to do because I need to use um, absolute cell referencing for my alpha value. So I'm going to double click on cell C3 again, and my uh, re cell reference to B18, which is the alpha value, I need to make that an absolute cell reference, so I'm going to press the F4 key, which puts in the dollar signs before and after the letter B, and as I have got the alpha value in two places in my formula, I need to press F4 key again on B18 in the second occurrence. So that means then my um, uh, al value of alpha will stay the same in the formula when I copy it down. So pr press enter, I still get the same result here, but now I can copy my values down to week 14. 
So I've now got forecasted demand for each of the weeks to match my actual demand. So each forecasted demand has an effect on the following forecast. When I get to week 15, I want to make um, another forecast as well. Now, I should, could just copy this down again, but I want to show uh, exactly what you do with the formula. So once again, type in equals, and it's as we've done before, opening bracket, my alpha value, uh, multiplied by uh, AT minus 1. In this case, that's going to be the actual demand for the previous week, a value of 88. Uh, closing bracket and plus uh, two brackets again, opening brackets, 1 minus my alpha value, 0 0.6 closing bracket, and that gets multiplied by the forecast for the previous period, uh, 84.26 in this case, closing bracket, and press enter. So my overall exponential smoothing forecast for week 15, based on actual demand for weeks 1 to 14, and forecasted demand for weeks 1 to 14, is going to be 86.51 products. So in this way, I'm able to use exponential smoothing to make a forecast based on previous time series analysis data for actual demand and the forecasted demand. So that's how you um, forecast using exponential smoothing in Excel 2013. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.